For one reason or another, packed lunches seem to throw many of us into a state of panic. Could it be the lack of time, early mornings, and a desire to produce a lunch that is varied, interesting, and nutritious? While we know the enormous impact food has on our health and performance, lack of time and inspiration means we often resort to providing nutritionally poor food in our lunch boxes. Over the next few moments, I hope to give you suggestions that will take the stress and hassle out of the whole bag lunch process. Because bag lunches will have to sit on a desk or in a locker or traveling for several hours before being eaten, precautions should be taken to keep the food out of the temperature danger zone. The first key factor to keeping food safe is proper sanitation. Start with clean hands and a clean, sanitized work surface and utensils. Washing, rinsing, and sanitizing with a mild bleach solution or a heat method such as in a dishwasher for all containers that you carry your lunch in. This includes, but is not limited to, your lunch box, insulated vacuum bottles, utensils, plastic containers, gel packs. Temperature control is the second key factor in keeping your food safe. Keep hot foods hot and cold foods cold. Stainless steel or glass lined insulated vacuum bottles will stay hotter than plastic lined ones. Before putting your hot food in the bottle, fill with hot clean water and let stand a minute or two. Empty and fill promptly with hot food. An insulated vacuum bottle can also be used to keep food cold. Chill the bottle in the refrigerator before adding cold food. Carry already chilled foods in an insulated bag or box. An insulated lunch bag will keep foods colder much longer than paper bags or plastic bags. Include an ice pack or gel freezer pack. You can also include other frozen items such as frozen juice boxes or frozen fruit to help keep the lunch chilled until it is time to eat. Put your lunch in a refrigerator if available. But be aware that cold air cannot reach foods in an insulated lunch bag or box, so open the bag to allow air circulation. Planning ahead makes preparing a lunch box so much easier. Not only does it relieve the daily panic of what to include, but it also makes the shopping more straightforward. So planning ahead includes making up a menu for the week that consists of fresh fruits and vegetables, freshly prepared foods, some pre-prepared and frozen dishes, as well as those invaluable leftovers. A nutritionally balanced lunchbox should feature one or more items from each of the following food groups. Consider presenting fruit in different ways. Prepare a fruit salad or add a touch of sweetness to a vegetable salad. Fruit compote combined with custard or yogurt, pureed and used as a dip with sweetened tortilla shells, chopped or sliced. Look for mini packs of dried fruit. Or combine fresh berries with yogurt and granola for a good source of calcium and vitamins. Whether you prefer raw or cooked vegetables, try slices of fennel or summer squash, cucumber, florets of broccoli and cauliflower, sugar snap peas, baby corn, tomatoes, beans, alfalfa sprouts, sweet onions, avocados, edamame, winter squash or salad leaves with dressing in a separate container, or how about some beans and legumes? Yogurt is a first-class protein food that contains good bacteria that benefits the digestive system. Adding a tablespoon of toasted oats and seeds or fruit to further boost the vitamin and mineral content. Low-fat cream cheese, mozzarella, feta, or brie are good sources of calcium, but bear in mind that many cheeses are high in saturated fat, so use in moderation or opt for low-fat alternatives. You can also purchase small commercial containers of milk from the store, or how about saving some money and use your insulated vacuum bottle from home.
Protein foods are great for staving off hunger pangs and work in unison with carbohydrates, which provides long-term energy and helps boost concentration, memory, and attention span. Good examples might be lean cooked poultry or beef, fish and shrimp, nuts, nut butters, and seeds, legumes, hummus, and tofu. Proteins make great sandwich fillings, pâtés, savory dishes, or in salads. Whole grains are a good source of long-term energy. With such an abundance of different breads to choose from, there is no need to stick to the same type every day. Experiment with various varieties such as pita breads, flatbreads, bagels, rolls, ciabatta, and baguettes. And breads made with different types of flour such as sourdough, whole wheat, or rye. Wraps are a great idea for lunches. Cover soft tortillas with any manner of filling and then roll them up. Or why not use rice paper wraps, lettuce leaves, or even an omelet as a wrap. Cooked pasta or rice combined with diced red peppers, canned corn, fresh tomato, cubes of cheese with a spoonful of pesto mixed with reduced fat mayo. Couscous, bulgur wheat, or cooked rice are great with chopped tomato, cucumber, scallions, olives, and mint, then dress with a little bit of lemon juice and olive oil. Cooked noodles work with oriental style dressings and vegetables. And don't forget your dessert. You could include something like these banana apricot bars. Or this no cook sweet bar with dried cranberries. It is all too easy to slip into a rut when filling a lunchbox, but with a little forward planning you will be able to provide a safe and nutritious lunch all the days of the week.